everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome to the lovely crafting community. Um, I'm here today with a crochet project actually. Um, it's super quick, super easy um, and it's these beautiful little scrunchies. I've seen so many people do these um, recently and over the last couple of months and there are so many variations that you can do. So I just thought I'd show you my variation. You can use any yarn for this project actually. I'm using some Flutter by Yarn which is kind of a really soft and um, velvety yarn but you can use normal you can use chunky super chunky dk um i've done so many variations of these um but i thought i'd show you in this one today so that you can kind of see the velvety one um creating the scrunchies so i've just got a simple bobble as well um obviously choose the bobble that work for your hair type and then a hook and some scissors and you will need a darning needle as well to sew in your ends. So without further ado, we shall begin. Okay then, so to begin um, your scrunchie, you're going to make a slip knot, just like how you begin most crochet projects. Insert your hook into your loop and pull through and now you can introduce your bobble. So we need to attach the yarn to our bobble now, so insert your hook into your bobble yarn over and pull up a loop and then you can just work like a double crochet so yarn over and pull through those two loops and there your yarn should have attached to your bobble um, and now we can get going so our um, scrunchie actually consists only of two stitches um, and they're not even two stitches it's a chain of three and a treble crochet and you're just going to repeat that all the way along so all you're going to do is one two three chains and then work a treble crochet so yarn over into your bobble yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and then you can chain three one two three and work another treble crochet so this um, project is super easy, it's one round and this is all you are doing for the rest of your round. Um, I can't really tell you how many stitches to do because depending on what bobble you're using, the yarn, your tension, um, everyone's is going to be slightly different. But I'd recommend filling up your bobble so you can't really see it anymore. And then obviously adding as many more on as you can. The more you do, um, the more scrunchy like it will be and the more kind of folds um, you will have in your scrunchie. Um, so obviously the more the better, but try and get as many as you can. It's totally up to you for your preference. But because this is super, super easy and super, super simple, um, you're just going to repeat this until you cover the bobble. So I am just going to repeat this the whole way around um, until I feel happy with my scrunchy look and then I will meet back um, when I have finished that. Okay then, so I've just filled up my bobble and you can see it fills up really, really quickly and really, really easily. Um, so I've filled it up and I've got loads of um, folds and a really, really nice scrunchie that I'm happy with now. So all you're going to do to finish off is I'm going to slip stitch. So I finished with a treble crochet and I'm now just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet that we created. And I'm going to chain one and just cut off my yarn like so and pull through. So now you've finished um, your scrunchie, you can play about with it how you want it to kind of lay um, and how um, you want the folds to lay. Um, so all you're going to do now is just sew in your two ends. So you just need to be careful with these not to go too tightly so that you bunch up the work because obviously when you stretch your scrunchie, um, the, the ends will... Um, and could poke out if you do them a little bit too tightly so just one thing is to do them nice and loosely and nice and gently throughout your scrunchie um, work so that's it from me today as I said it was a really really quick tutorial to teach I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've been able to create some scrunchies of your own 
Um, they are super fun and super cute little crochet projects that you can show off in your hair. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. Comment down below any questions or comments that you just have in general. Um, and also subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my future content. Also, if you get the chance, go and check out my um, past content, um, some of my crochet projects, my knitting stitches, um, and learn how to knit if you want to go and check out those. I will leave a few links in the description box below. Um, but thank you all, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.